Hello and welcome to Division 6's Introduction to Soldat, from installation all the way to gameplay. So go to soldat.pl, there's a big old download now button. That has a link to what is a zip file, and once you've downloaded that, opened it up, started the install which is inside straight from the zip file. You can choose where it installs to, create a desktop shortcut, and that's that. Once you've got it running, you'll be greeted by this screen here, this is the profile screen, you press OK. First off, go into your player screen, change your name from Major to whatever your in-game name should be. And you can customize what your player looks like. This also through the screen to change any of your keybinds. And I changed my throw grenade to be space, because I hate it being on E. There's also uh, sensitivity settings over in the options you may want to fill about with. Um, when we give you an IP import, you want to go to the Join Game tab and put it in these two boxes here, and then press the Join Game once they're complete. Otherwise, you can just look for a server using the Request Servers button, and usually just sort by player, and you can easily find servers to play on. Next up is the controls. We have the very basic WASD for movement, S to crouch, W to jump, and left click to fire, and right click to use your jets. Note that jumping and using your jets makes you rise a hell of a lot quicker. You can also use X to do prone, and use your jets alongside that to make a kind of Superman motion, which is a lot easier to get around with. Another fancy option would be to do backflips. That's by jumping whilst holding a direction and your up button, and then right-clicking whilst in midair. But most of the time, you're probably just going to be killing people. And, and this, but uh, we won't talk about that. Are there such keybinds? I've got spacebar as my throw grenade, as mentioned earlier, but the default is E, holding E to do that. Uh, switching weapon between primary and secondary is Q. To throw your weapon or to drop it, which is helpful for picking up the bow and rambo mode, is F. If you're holding a knife and you press and hold F, it'll throw the knife. Note that when people die, they drop their weapons, so you can actually dual wield primary weapons. And lastly, the weapons of the game. The first off, we've got Desert Eagles, which are dual pistols, which is probably the, one of the harder weapons due to its arc, as you can see. Second is the HK MP5. Pretty much the run-of-the-mill automatic weapon, pretty easy to use. Third is the AK-74, which, honestly, doesn't need much explaining. And four is the Stayer. It's uh, only 30 ammo, and you do kind of need to burst it to get the uh, maximum effect in this weapon. Number five is the Spaz, which is the shotgun. Very, very dangerous close range, and you can notice the knockback it gives. Number six is the Ruger, which is the hunting rifle. Pretty good over range and can be a two-hit kill. Number 7 is the M79, otherwise known as the Noob Tube. Enough said. Number 8 is the Barrett, which is the sniper rifle. One of the biggest things people ask is, how do you fire it? And the answer is, you click and hold the button. And you can't just click it individually. One major thing to note with this weapon, and what makes it one of the most comp complex weapons, is that you can actually zoom. If you crouch, you get one level of zoom. If you go prone, you get a different and further level of zoom. So bear that in mind whilst navigating across the map. You may be sniped from a lot further away than you think. Number 9 is the Mini-Me, which is pretty much the AK-74. A bit more powerful, but a, li a lot more uncontrollable, really. And lastly, the Minigun, which honestly no one ever uses, because <laughs> not back on this thing is actually crazy. And you go quickly over the secondaries, you've got a shooty pistol, a combat knife as mentioned earlier, a chainsaw which you just left click and hold. The M72 law is a bit different, it's a rocket launcher and you have to be crouching in order to shoot this weapon. But anyway, that is my full introduction to Soldat. It's about a 15 year old game, but still a lot of fun, still people playing it, so hopefully you come and join us, which should be a lot of fun. We're going to be playing this sometimes as part of our alternative games night, check the Twitch link and on Discord for our streaming schedule.